Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd make this quick screencast for uh, as you're building things in the Moodle um, for helping you to format um, things like uh, tables and uh, and things like you see on the screen here where you've got uh, uh, tabbing where things might have to line up uh, compared to the uh, to the other side. So what I'm going to do actually to set this up, I'm going to just put my cursor right after this uh, this title line polynomials. And what I want to do is I want to set this up so that all of the dates line up and all of the topics line up. And to do that, the best way to do that in HTML is always using a table. And to access a table, it's just this icon right here in Moodle. And if I press that, you'll see a, a form come up that'll ask me how many rows and how many columns. Um, so I'm going to just take a look here and I can see that I've got three rows that I need, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I need two columns, date and um, and what the uh, work is. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So my number of rows is three. My number of columns is two. Um, it might not need to have the entire width, but uh, maybe I might go to like an 80%. Um, sometimes uh, decreasing the size of that can make it look a little bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Um, and that's just personal preference. The border thickness, because I don't really want uh, the students to see lines, I just want to make sure that everything lines up, I'm going to set that to zero. And the rest of this I can uh, just leave alone. So I'm going to press OK. Now when I do that, you can see that I now have these six boxes that have appeared up top. And so what I can do is just highlight and grab the date. Oops, try that again. Uh, highlight and grab and I'll go cut and I'll just paste that into this box. Um, take the multiplying polynomials, cut that, paste that into this box and I'll continue with that and you'll see now everything is uh, nicely formatted. I can now go down and just clear out all this extra white space which I just created And now I can continue to work with the, um, the second topic. Um, once I'm finished, I can just push Save. And if I go back now, you can see that um, the formatting is now much nicer. So Monday, July 4th is multiplying polynomials. Tuesday, July 5th is factoring polynomials. It still looks a little bit cluttered. It'd be nice to have a little bit more space between uh, between each of these and so I'm gonna go back and fix that and the way I do that is uh, just go back edit the label again um, and then in the uh, box here if I want to have a space between this cell and this cell I just have to push and enter just to add one extra line so that you can now see there's a bit of white space there if I now go and save that now it looks much cleaner and uh, much more obvious as to what uh, what I need to do as a student. Again, what I used was tables, and um, it can really make uh, your formatting of your web-based content much, much, much cleaner. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout.